Telling your story. You're watching WCBI Midday. All right, welcome back everyone. May is Mental Health Awareness Month with you probably already know. Our guests today are from Community Counseling Services. Whitney Cox is the Octopahaw County Administrator and Burrell Cobb is the A&D Clinical Director. Thank you mm -hmm. both so much for being here. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. So this is a month where we put the focus on helping people to, one, stop the stigma about mental health, mm -hmm. but also to point them to resources. But this is really a conversation you have all year, isn't it? Absolutely, it's something we do every day, eight to five. Um, but we want to celebrate the entire month of May every mm -hmm. year to bring awareness to mental health. Mm -hmm. I think society as a whole is getting better about the stigma associated and talking more openly. Mm -hmm. But culturally and in our communities, we are still seeing some stigma. Mm -hmm. I had a fifth grade student last week mm -hmm. uh, ask, you know, are you a therapist? I said, yeah. And he said, isn't that for crazy people? Yeah. And so from a young age, we're seeing that that's the message there they're getting and so our hope is to try and steadily reduce that. Burrell, do you think awareness is the best way to kind of get rid of that stigma to let people know like being having a sickness, uh, a mental illness, is just like having a physical illness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The only way we reduce those stigmas is by having these hard conversations and just raising awareness. Mm -hmm. What are some of the most mental, most common mental health conditions? I think people's mind typically goes to the more severe mental illness, schizophrenia, mm -hmm. bipolar, personality. Mm -hmm. But what we're seeing the most lately in children and adults is depression, oh. anxiety, grief, mm -hmm. trauma, and not knowing how to cope with any of those things. For whatever the mental health condition is, Burrell, it requires different levels of treatment. For some people, mm -hmm. medication, but for others, it's just therapy and learning to cope, right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, getting into therapy, also like having healthy coping skills, mm -hmm. like journaling, music, uh, fishing, things to just like mm -hmm. decompress and just relax ourselves. Yeah. Substance abuse can have a big effect on your mental health, can it? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and oftentimes we see it go hand in hand mm -hmm. um, with substance abuse and mental health. Um, and for the most part, substance use addiction is a mental health disorder. Mm -hmm. And the conversation should be more geared towards not if I'll ever be depressed, but when. Because mm -hmm. you know. life circumstances can happen to us all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so Whitney and Burrell are telling us the best way to do it is to have the conversation. There are resources available. Mm -hmm. You can contact Community Counseling Services at that website address you see there on your screen. I hope I have that right. And there's also a phone number, 662-323-9318. Thank you both so much. Yeah. Important conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. We'll be in Mr. Food's Kitchen.